Hello everyone. Through the MIT MSRPX Summer Research Opportunity, I had the ability to work in the Biomechatronics Group at the MIT Media Lab under Tony Shu and Dr. Hugh Herr. Our project looks at improving amputee level ground walking through optimization and neuromuscular modeling. Amputees, as of right now, lack consistent and reliable control of their prosthesis, which leads to poor gait and function as a result. Therefore, we are building upon previous work to address this issue. To provide some background, when a traditional amputation occurs, most of the muscles are severed or used to pad the amputation. This results in a blocked pathway of feedback from the limb to the brain. However, the lab has designed a completely new amputation called the AMI which reconnects the muscles and restores the neural pathway between the limb and the brain. This means that an amputee can now perceive their own limb movements without even looking. Last summer, we sought out to understand what exactly was this level of perception that the AMI restores. Using a neuromuscular model, and this is a model that simulates the muscles, nerve pathways, and joints computationally, we concluded that the AMI amputees have an increased joint coordination compared to traditional amputees. Previously, AMI amputees have also shown improvements in prosthesis control. That brings us to what is happening now. Can we combine these huge enhancements of perception, control, and coordination to improve walking for amputees? Can we generate activation signals that match each amputee's characteristics to provide a more symmetrical gait? Can we improve the relationship between muscle signals and prosthesis control? Here, we can see the relationship between all the pieces in our approach. The entire method is based on neuromuscular modeling. First, we take a neural muscle activation, feed it into the model, map them out, and see what the output would be in terms of movement of your foot. We can also do the reverse and take the movement and force from your foot and generate an activation that correlates to that movement. This whole process is key to our technique in tackling this problem. Utilizing that previous methodology, we can use the amputee's own walking data and generate a computational neuromuscular version of it. This would mean that based on how they walk, we can generate that same exact behavior with all the muscles and joint movements online in the model. With this, we have reproduced a model which can be fed activations to see how the amputee would respond in their movements. Next, we can take the amputee's muscle activation data and fit an optimized curve to it. This optimized curve will correlate to a foot torque and movement that best reproduces level ground walking through the model. This activation curve will feed in the signal into a computational model which controls the ankle joint movement. Now that we have an optimized activation signal that correlates to some movement and trajectory, we can implement it into the prosthesis controller and correlate the activation to certain functions on the prosthesis. We hope to see that the generation of this process, we can utilize the AMI's full capability for level ground walking by optimizing the aspects in the middle of the process. We hope to see that through the amputee subject trials, that this workflow can fit an optimized curve to each amputee and provide movement that enhances their level ground walking symmetry. As the amputee experiences shifts either due to movement or other factors, we hope that the model can adapt. With this approach, we can increase the effectiveness in the amputee walking with the AMI and quantitatively tune the prosthesis to best fit the amputee. This completes and optimizes the entire process for an amputee and will help the user tremendously with walking and other activities. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And I wanted to thank MSRPX again for this huge opportunity, as well as Tony for coming up with this concept and pushing it forward. Please feel free to reach out with any questions. Thank you.